Let's take a look at the Teradek Bolt Pro as an uncompressed HD wireless transmission and monitoring option. Hey everyone, I'm Mia. If you're working in a professional environment and looking at adding a professional wireless transmission system to your kit, the Teradek Bolt Pro is one to consider. I have the 3G SDI version of the Bolt Pro, but there's also an HDMI version as well. Now you can mix and match an SDI transmitter with an HDMI receiver or an HDMI transmitter with an SDI receiver to suit the type of monitor that you're working with. The Bolt Pro sends uncompressed 1920 by 1080 60p video with 422 color sampling via transmitter. Then, when you attach a receiver, this high quality signal is either recorded to an external device or displayed on a monitor. According to Teradek, you'll see less than a millisecond of delay, and when I used the Bolt Pro, I hardly noticed it. Latency was not an issue at all. In fact, B&H Photo recently used the Bolt Pro with a Canon XF305 at the Adobe Digital Summit in New York. They wirelessly transmitted the video signal to a switcher for a live webcast of the event, and it worked flawlessly. That's just one application for a device like this. But you could also set up a monitoring station a short distance from the actual filming. On film sets, that's typically called a video village. It's a term given to the off-camera viewing, recording, and playback station where the producer, director, or production crew monitor the footage. Usually, you connect the camera to the video village via cables, but Teradex wireless solution eliminates the problems that can come with that, like tripping and knocking over equipment. If you're shooting handheld or using a camera stabilizer and want to watch the video as it's shot, the Bolt Pro is so much better than having a cable hanging off the stabilizer to a monitor or having the director following the operator as they move the camera. There are loads of situations where a wireless monitoring system like this can be useful. You could also use it for pulling focus remotely. Teradek is currently in the final testing phase for a firmware upgrade that will allow the Bolt Pro SDI transmitter to pass metadata, timecode, and fan control signals to a SDI receiver. The fan on the receiver is quiet, but loud enough to be heard in a very quiet room. And if you're shooting something like an interview, it could be a problem. The firmware upgrade will silence the fan every time you press record on the camera. According to Teradek, this firmware will only work with the SDI version of the Bolt Pro. Teradek gives the Bolt Pro a transmitting distance of about 300 feet, if the units are in line of sight of each other. And it uses WSDI Pro for wireless transmission instead of Wi-Fi, so Wi-Fi networks won't mess with your video transmission or vice versa. Operating on the 5 GHz band, WSDI Pro is a technology that uses multiple channels higher RF bandwidth, and it can change channels on the fly to avoid other signals. That way, it's never interrupted. I took the Bolt Pro out to test just how effective it is at keeping a signal and quickly found that line of sight is really essential. The signal breaks up within just a few feet if you turn a corner. Teradek confirms that it won't work through brick or concrete, but I experienced signal disturbance even through drywall. So it's best just to only use this unit in situations where the transmitter and the receiver can be in line of sight. I had to test out that 300-foot claim and found that in our parking lot and in direct line of sight, I could only get about 215 feet from the transmitter before losing the signal. Well, we tested this several times and the maximum distance stayed consistent at 215 feet. Now your transmission environment, plus the way the device is mounted and handled, all contribute to getting the most range out of your system. The Bolt Pro transmitter has a loop-through, so you can run an on-camera monitor directly off the transmitter and one off the receiver if necessary. One Bolt Pro transmitter can multicast up to four receivers, and again, you can mix and match HDMI receivers with the SDI transmitter. So if you need to set up more than one viewing area, this unit can accommodate that. Let's talk about power options. The transmitter has a two-pin limo and comes with a P-tap cable so you can power it from the camera battery. The power range is 6 to 28 volts. 
It also has a built-in lithium-ion battery that should run at least 60 minutes, but that's intended more as a backup for when you're swapping external power sources. But the receivers will need to run off a power source. Included in the unit is a 2-pin LIMO DC power supply cord and a LIMO to PTAP cable for a large battery like an Anton Bauer or IDX. You will definitely need access to at least one of these options. Overall, I found the Teradek Bolt to be a great option for monitoring uncompressed HD video without a delay. It's also useful for transmitting live video to a switcher. And even though I couldn't get the signal past 215 feet, that's a really good distance from the camera. It's unlikely that you'll need to set up a monitoring option farther away than that from the action. I'm Mia McCormick. Thanks for watching. Whether you're a hobbyist or a professional, B&H has the answers to your questions. Experience a world of technology at our New York City Superstore. Connect with us online or give us a call. Our staff of experts is happy to help. Scott Kelby here and welcome to this quick tour of our online training. We have hundreds of online classes for you covering everything from lighting to landscape photography. From portrait photography to sports, we have classes on wedding, Automotive photography, shooting, food, fashion, travel, you name it. The most incredible part of this is the price. You get all of this for just $199 a year, or you can pay monthly for just $24.95. 24 hour a day, seven day a week access from anywhere in the world. I invite you to join with us today and start learning right now.